Hey guys, uh, Home Drop Shipper Online here uh, with another video for you. This one I want to speak about the BAT and I just want to give my my take on that because I can see many people getting confused about it. So I just wanted to explain what I think about the BAT and my my take on how it works. Obviously I'm not an accountant so please don't take this information as uh, as you know the the true or whatever you want to call it I have an accountant that is dealing with my, my BAT but I just want to explain what I understand on you know how it works and what you need to do or you know how you can calculate it and everything because I, I can see in the groups that people is just saying oh yeah but we, when, when doing dropshipping and you 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 are about registered then you cannot make any money because you you paying twenty percent on top of yourself because you need to pay twenty percent to the to the government. So it's just um, you know it's really confusing. That's why I'm telling you don't don't believe everything you see on the Facebook groups and yeah just do your own research really because this information is just it's not true. So obviously if somebody's new and want to start with dropshipping and then they see that then. You know they're not gonna start because they think that is true so yeah so I just want to explain how it works okay so in eBay and I'm focusing on eBay UK because it's where, where you know where I sell I don't sell on US or anything like that I only sell in UK so I'm gonna explain this uh, matter just for for the UK okay and also but it's only for the UK so um, yeah so um, with the BAT, okay, it can happen two things: uh, that you you are located in the UK. So obviously, if you are not located in the UK, there is a threshold that you need to reach before you have to register for the BAT, which I believe is around eighty-five thousand. But uh, you know, you can check it out on this page, uh, gov.uk. Uh, you will have all the information you need on here. Uh, so you can check it out or you can just get an accountant which is you know obviously is is the easiest way to do but uh, like I said mm, if you are in the UK then then your threshold is 85,000 so until you don't get to 85,000 on a rolling 12 month period okay that's a rolling 12 month period it's, it not goes it doesn't go with the you know the the um, financial year it just go with the with the 12 month rolling period which means like you need to calculate the last 12 months and if you're doing more than 85,000 then you need to register uh, for the BAT and it and it also if if you can predict your business to do more than 85,000 on the first year you also need to register for for BAT but obviously doing the shipping you cannot predict really because you know it, it doesn't depend on you only it depends on yourselves and everything so the other thing is if you are located outside of the UK, uh, which means you are an international seller, then you need to register for BAT straight away, okay? And yeah, so um, you just need to go and, and get your BAT number. If not, eBay is going to suspend your account, okay? So um, I'm going to explain now for the ones that are in the UK and are not registered for BAT. Okay, so if you're in the UK and you are not registered for VAT, you need to take into account a fee from eBay, which is the the twenty percent on top of the eBay fee, which which I mean, uh, which means that you're gonna pay but, but you cannot claim it back, okay, because you're not bad registered. Um, that means that you need to you need to take this into account when you are calculating your profit because if not you can you can just lose money okay because you cannot claim this back and eBay is going to charge this fee you know no matter what even if you are or you are not eBay now is charging this fee so just please uh, please take this into account on your um you know on your profit calculator then what happens if you are bad register? Then if you have a register, you can claim this fee back, okay? So it doesn't affect you at all if you have a register because uh, eBay will charge it, but then you, you, just, um, you just get it off of your BAT bill, okay? 
Uh, if you are international seller, then it's the same for you. Uh, you can claim it back because you are registered for PAT. So now let's get into the saucy or the saucy thing, you know, or the thing that everybody is just getting mad about it. And uh, there is so much misinformation about it. Okay. So how you can calculate your BAT? Do you need to pay 20% on top of yourself? No. Well, you may do if you don't do your research properly or if you don't pick the right suppliers. But in, you know, as a general matter, you don't have to okay the only thing they need to make sure is that you are uh when you are bad register you are buying from uh bad register sellers okay so your supplier needs to be bad register and also the invoices need to have your billing address okay on it if not there won't be a valid invoice and then you cannot claim the bat back so how you can calculate uh, the bat okay so the bat you can calculate it very easily. The only thing that you need to do to know how much you own, as long as your supplier is bad register, remember that. If it's not bad register, then you you screw. You know, you're pretty fucked up because mm, you will have to pay 20% because you cannot declare anything back, okay? But if your supplier is bad register, that's the only calculation you need to do, okay? I'm going to show you now. So let's say you buy the item for 80, okay? And you sell it for 100. So people will tell you in the group, on the Facebook group, oh yeah, you need to pay 20 pounds on BAT, but that's that's not true, okay? So how can we calculate this? It's very easy. As long as your supply is BAT registered, please <laughs> make sure your supply is BAT registered, so it has a valid VAT number, and a valid VAT number is the one that starts with GB, okay? So if you go to Amazon, you can check all the suppliers, and you may find suppliers that has a BAT number, but it starts with DE or with IT or with something like that. Then this is not valid, okay? The only valid one is GB, Great Britain, okay? So once this is clear, then let's calculate the BAT. So how can you calculate the BAT? So it's very easy. You only need to do your cost price, which is 80, times 0 0.1667, okay? So this, 13... 0.36 will be uh, what you can deduct from your purchase okay so let's do the sell now so 100 times 0 0.1667 so that is 1667 so 1667 okay this is bad on cost and this is but on sell okay so how much do you own to the government so it's very simple so you just do this 1667 minus 1336 which is equal uh, 331 okay so that's it that's what you want okay 331 you don't own 20 pounds or something silly that you can just you can see on the on the facebook groups okay it's just i'm, I'm so fed up with these uh, these things you know that's why i'm doing this channel mostly one because i like to help people and the other one is just because there is a lot of misinformation people saying oh drop is not profitable don't do this because you're gonna lose money blah blah that's just bullshit okay drop shipping or at least from my own experience, because I'm doing this right now, I'm not fucking um, doing this, um, you know, on a, like, oh, I've done it like two years ago and now I'm doing this. No. Now I'm making a solid income from this, okay? So, please, just make your own research, do your homework, and check that the information that you find on the Facebook group is true, okay? And also, gain an account that is not too expensive okay you can get your own accountant um you know really cheap really well at least for me i, I pay around 100 pounds a month for my accountant which is nothing if it takes off all this you know paperwork from me because i'm running the business so i don't have time for these um you know these things like um you know remember when i need to do my bad return and all that lot okay that's why i pay my accountant and i'm very happy with it so, um, uh, going into this topic, okay, 
I can see many people saying, oh yeah, but mm, when I'm buying in Amazon UK and I'm using gift cards to, you know, to try to, to get some money back from it, I don't get my invoices on, you know, with my um, invoice address on it, blah, blah. Well, that is because you're not using the right, the right tools or the right softwares, okay? At the moment, uh, I've been using a software which is called the VA Ninja. I'm going to leave a link in the description, okay? Which is an auto-ordering software that can get you invoices from Amazon using gift cards with your own billing address, not the customer one, okay? So be sure to check it out. I'm going to leave the link below, okay? So you can go and, and check it out. And if you use my link, obviously I'm going to get something from them, which is nice. If this video has been in has been any help from you then it's you know it's a nice way to to thank me for it really because I don't know it doesn't cost you anything so yeah why not and then the other thing I want to say as well is um, I have a Facebook group I'm trying to grow you know people that want to start with dropshipping are welcome so please join the, the link will be in the description below and I also have a website where I put like a free 45 or 40 to 45 minutes video um, uh, well, I explain all the basics about dropshipping and how I would start right now. I'm also going to leave a link below. So if you want to check it out, just you know, make sure to to click the link below. And also, please, if you like my videos, just subscribe and like the video because that's going to help me to grow this channel and help all the people as well. And you know, so I I'm trying to just um, give some value information out there uh, for people that wants to start this business and you know helping them to create uh, an income signed income uh, for them okay so once again thank you for watching uh, subscribe and like the video have a good one see you in the next video bye